how did the Beyonce thing come about? Now that's this is where everything just took off for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. How, how did that happen? Let me let me tell you guys the real story. So 2016, um, I had just gotten my agent, and it's so crazy. And this was like my first actual audition. Mm. But because I had been working at Big Wings and you know trying to pay bills and take care of shit, um, I had not been in the gym. I had not been in class. That had not been a priority because at this time I'm like, well, shit, I gotta, I, it's expensive out here. I gotta figure things out. You gotta so live. I got this call for Beyonce 2016 for formation. And with no preparation on my end, I made it to the very end of this callback. And it was probably like a three week audition. Look, he got the whole, no, you don't. <laughs> he, <laughs> um, can we, can we spot like, Corbin? Right, just so, look, just look for the, the one, big, one thing that uh, people don't know about uh, Miss Corbin, and you're talking about dancing yeah. with the queen. We talk about the queen now. Corbin is the queen's lookalike, right? So Corbin is the one that everybody mistakes for the queen at all times. And if you know what I'm saying, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know exactly how that goes. I just know <laughs> from keeping up with my girl that you are the one who is the queen's lookalike, right? So. <laughs> That's nuts, girl. So keep telling that story. Like keep telling me that story. Yeah, well, we'll we'll get to there. We'll get there. Okay. Um so 2016 I auditioned for formation. And like I was saying, I had like no preparation for that. So I had gone to the very end of this audition. It was about like a three-week period. Like I'm not eating, I'm stressed, <laughs> you know, like just anxiety at all time high. I'm right. like, oh my god, my dreams are about to come true. Like da da da. I got to the very end. And it came down to me and my best friend at the time. And oh. they chose her oh. and not me. I, of course, was ecstatic for her, um, but crushed. But this girl, she had just taken the scholarship program for six months before me. Right. So guess who was prepared and who wasn't prepared? Exactly. You know, she was, and I wasn't. So yeah, I had a pity party. I took about two weeks off and I cried literally every single day. Aww. But then I had to think. I said, "Okay, Corbin, so you have two options. One, you can quit and go home like everybody else does, or two, get it together, put your big girl panties on, and get to fucking work." Excuse my language, and that's no, what no, I no. don't excuse the language. Oh, so I got in the gym. <laughs> I got in the gym. Shout out to Gary G Train. I, I I signed up for G Train. I was in there religiously. I went and did the six month scholarship program where I was literally dancing for hours every single day. And I said, okay, so next time when this audition comes back up, because Beyonce goes on tour every two years. Mm -hmm. Next time this woman calls, I'll be ready. And that's exactly what I did. <clears throat> I made sure that I was ready. And when I got that email, I was like, okay, bet, it's game time. Nice. And I booked. So, you know, it's kind of just like for a lot of people, you know, when they're down and when they when they lose something, they don't get something. That's honestly when you fail. That's the that's honestly where you see someone's resilience of like how they get back up. Because right. most people, it's hard. You know, like this shit is hard. Being told no, 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 over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, mm -hmm. and it even hurts when it's something that you want so much. I've been dreaming of dancing for Beyonce since I was twelve years old. You know, so like to see how close I was, like that story of that man who's about to like hit one more brick and he's on the other side of gold. Like I was literally right there, you know? And instead of just turning around and saying, all right, well, this is just not for me, I guess. I was like, all right, girl, you got, you don't have a choice. <laughs> you either right. get this job or you're going to go home and just be another statistic of somebody who went to LA and just came home. So mm -hmm. that's the story. Um, and yeah, so booked Coachella. And then from Coachella, out of shit, 150 people, I was chosen out of 13. You know, 13 of us went on tour. So that's kind of the story of that. And then Beyonce led to all the other adventures I've been able to do. So that's yeah, that's our short story. 